Hi everyone and welcome to Let's Play... Wait for it... Death Rally! Death Rally was originally released in 1996 and it's made by Remedy Entertainment. Nowadays these guys are known as a Remedy and they have made games like Max Payne 1 and 2 and also soon to be released Alan Wake. This was their first commercial game and it was kind of a hit back in the day. Especially in the server world. And I used to play this game so, so much. So I thought, well, why the heck not? I saw this game to you, dear people of the internet. So, the game, and I want my vagabond, so old beetle, to be kind of dark bluish here. And you could also pick a different avatar, but I think I stick with the default one. And yes, I do want to use weapons. And for the difficulty, I go for the I live to ride, but it's like the normal medium. Welcome to Death Rally. The race is all in Death Rally, where life is short and hot. Fast and deadly. Watch the road, hear the rumble, start out easy. Get the feel of it, but remember, buy the rules or fry the rules. Play the win, enough said. Now ride your machine, you mother war chariot. Oh, I will. So basically what they say, go for the easy race. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Since I have the crappiest car in game, no upgrades. Nothing. And this is Death Rally. Oh, welcome. Well, thank you. Ready to go. As you can see, Death Rally is top down racing game with guns. In each race, there is a three. And your aim is to be first over the finish line. And week 101, the user interferes on the left side. Top there is that red greenish bar. That's my tool. And below that, that yellow is yellow reddish bar is my ammo ammunition left and below that there's my condi condition of my car if it reaches 100 it's race over you destroy it you get nothing you just have to pay for the fixing and below there you can see the opponents the colored bar under the name is, excuse me, is their health. So yes, you can destroy the opponents. Have a easy race. It's not very easy to do, but it's a one possibility. And when you can, it's definitely worth it. Because who doesn't want to win easy? And seems like we're on the final lap already. There are those power-ups to pick up during the race. The lightning. Okay, lightning ball is more turbo. Those red shells are ammunition. There are money, monkey branches, what fixes your car rate. And there are the mushroom, only one that you should avoid, since it makes everything look trippy. And the first race is done. Here is the post-race screen. 
And statistics page. Here the most important thing to see is the total race income. I got 7,500, which is quite nice for the first race. And on the left side there is the scoreboard and your aim is to be the number one. Welcome to shop. Jillian more miles to go. That chunk of yours is no juggernaut. She will take you all the way. You need to gear up to upgrade. Make headlong headway, stride to stride, stride to stride. Evolve, improve, better, best. Buy and be the shining perfection. Here's the normal shop. I fix my beetle by the engine. Next thing I'm gonna buy is the new tires for my ride. And also you can buy new cars. First thing, first car I will buy is the Shrieker. Some people say it's better to get the Dervish. And from there to then go to Shrieker and then go to the Ultimate Machine. But I go first to Shrieker. Without the nervous, I'm just that hardcore. Nothing more there. Psst. Yeah, you driver. Jealous bears you like a dragon inside. You want that road all to yourself. So jinx those rival suckers, let them go out in a blaze. You take the glory. Welcome to the underground market. What do you want? We got. Dig out the dub. This gonna cost ya. Yes, underground market, you can play dirty in death rally. Sabotage, this deals a little bit of damage to one opponent in the next race. I would say generally it's not worth it. The damage is so little. Rocket fuel makes your turbo more powerful, but it also damages your car a little bit. It has its uses. Spikes. Yes, the crashing damage increases. I would also say it's total waste of money. Mines are nice. They don't do that much damage, but uh, they slow down if you hit them. So it's good to have. And Lone Shark, well, just avoid that guy. It's nothing but trouble. And to the next race, and another easy one, since clearly lacking power to go anything else. Get ready to go. And here we go. Kind of good trick is at the beginning just let them go past you, since there is that up of 5 seconds you can't use the guns. And after that time, everybody will start to shoot. And it's a bad idea to be on the number one spot at that, at that time. They hurt. Shred you to the pieces. In no time. Now, I'm number one. I have to keep my distance so that guy doesn't shoot me. So the monkey branches fixes your car a little bit if you pick him up. Something like 5%. Since it's been uh, over a decade since I played this game, I don't remember all the details. And if I suck, I can always say, well, it's been a decade. So, but I try my best here. And... Victor is mine. Barely, but it is. And no damage. If I remember right, we got something nice about that. But let's see. Well, I gained... Three points for the victory. It's not much, but it's the first steps. And I got really nice money. One thousand three hundred dollars. 
for the sword race.